Hey everyone and welcome to the more informal version of Drawing Too Fast that I'm going to call Drawing Somewhat Slower. Uh, it's just going to be sort of a highlight reel, talk about the sort of things that I was thinking when I put the project together, when I did each individual piece, and uh, sort of just take time to talk about things that you can't really discuss in under a minute when you're just speeding through a video. So you'll be hearing from me throughout, uh, it won't be an entire slow time run through, just be me popping in and out giving you in insight into bits and pieces here and there. So take a seat, uh, hang out, and let's get into this. So this prompt was Asteroid, and honestly I thought about it as I was getting started, and I had some ideas to maybe use a spaceship or just plopping a cool character into the spaceship, maybe even do a little play on the old game Asteroids, which if you're maybe a little older than me, you might be more prone to remember. If you're a little younger, it's probably not going to register. But part of the way I approach these sort of projects in general, I didn't want to go immediately with the easy way. And to me, that usually means skipping my first couple of ideas or at least uh, letting them stew for a bit to see if I can think of a more interesting way to approach those initial ideas. So what I ended up going with here, as you can see from uh, like a, a grill and a boombox in space, was something a little more different. I didn't go with the video game route, I didn't go with the spaceship route, and I thought, why not barbecue in space? Because that's a thing that people can and often do. So like I said, I wanted it to be a little lighthearted and different than my first idea. So what I'm doing here is taking away some of those pencil lines because they're hard to get to once you lay down the paint. You can't really get under the paint to the pencil without destroying the layer of paint. So I want to take care of that first. And then what I'm doing here is using a liquid latex compound called masking fluid to cover up parts of the paper that I'd like to stay unpainted. Uh, typically it's used to preserve white areas. It can also be used, I believe, to preserve areas that have already been painted. You don't want to contaminate them with bleed or with other colors. I haven't tried that way yet, but I'd like to in the future. And I'm using Q-tips, and in a moment uh, you'll see a barbecue skewer here, because that stuff destroys your brushes. It's best to use really cheap, sort of nasty brushes to put it on the paper, but I didn't have any to hand and I didn't want to destroy any of my good brushes, so I always keep something like this around to apply masking fluid when, it's, uh, when the tool can be disposable. So what I'm doing right now is laying down a wash. A wash is basically using water to spread a thin layer of color over the work surface. It could be done uh, more delicately. I could have taken my time a little more, but really I just wanted to start working on this gradient from dark at the edges to light in the middle to sort of bring the focus towards the guy playing badminton uh, in the middle there. You can see here all those little bubbles in the middle, all those uh, places where I put the masking fluid. There's paint sticking to them now and they look kind of kind of oily and bubbly, but that's going to peel away later and just show clean paper underneath. Now I didn't think about it much while I was doing it, but I started noticing it more towards the end and I'm sure you can see it now, how the paint is bleeding outside of those inked lines I placed down. I could have uh, worked on that by being a little more careful, maybe using less water in my washes, maybe using more like a higher paint to water ratio to keep things a little less fluid. But uh, as it stands, I'm fairly okay with it. I'm not super happy, but I can let it stand. What I'm doing right here is using uh, a regular white eraser to pull that latex off the paper. Uh, you see uh, that masking fluid was used to cover the white spaces and you can see as I start to rub it away, the clean paper is just hanging up there right underneath and I can go over that with whatever color I wanted or leave it blank as I did in the case with these stars here. I'm laying down a, some really basic, more self-contained washes. Not quite the same thing as what I did for the majority of the like spacescape there, but just something to sort of spread the paint around in the area I'm working with. And the big thing that I try to avoid doing this is 
just getting dry spots where the paint sort of creates a dry band. It's really obvious when you come back with more color after an area has dried and it, it looks a little ugly so I was just trying to avoid that. Not necessarily spread lots of color as I did earlier on. And speaking of color, I'm not super well versed in color theory so I tend to go with really strong contrasts like I did here and uh, <laughs> with my bright green boombox and grill. I still actually use a tool called Cooler to help me pick a lot of my colors and I did a lot of this by feel. I'm not super 100% in love with it but I enjoy the colors I picked and I know I will do better in the future which is the whole goal of these paintings is to just do better on my next one than I did on the previous one not necessarily to be perfect each and every time. Now what I'm doing here is going back in and laying a couple uh, smaller, darker washes, mostly just to up the contrast. I, once I got towards the end, it started feeling a little flat, and I just wanted to make a few of the things in the foreground pop by making the background darker, or maybe by just sort of changing the overall level of contrast throughout the whole piece. So what I did there, I went through and used a light shade of purple to add some shadows. I'm not sure where I learned that, but that's more of a technique that I learned for adding darker areas without adding a darker shade of the color that's already there. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Here it is in person, Asteroids. I hope you enjoyed uh, drawing somewhat slower with me, sitting down and taking a look at the piece instead of just rushing through it like we did in the first case. Um, I'd love to do another one of these, so let me know what you folks thought down in the comments. Let me know what you'd like to hear from me about in the future, anything you'd like me to talk about during these, and I hope to see you next time. So, bye!